What's up guys, welcome back to the Angry Sessions. Today we're gonna to be learning how to play Singing in the Swamp. This is one of my personal favorites off the record. And uh, let's get to it. The song's in drop C, and uh, the first thing you wanna do is make yourself, you know, a clean tone with uh, a couple things. I got compressor, reverb, tremolo, and a phaser, and that's what's gonna make that tone that you uh, in the, hear in the beginning of the song. Sort of a power chord around eight and you're gonna add the uh, top string. It's gonna sound like this. Super easy. The second chord is gonna be a, a standard power chord over on the third fret. And uh, you're gonna add that pinky there, octave, so it's bigger. And then lastly, we're gonna do that first chord we did, but on the first fret. It's gonna sound like this. So together it'd be. Right 
here we're going to do that same chord in the beginning, put on five, slide down to three. After that you're going to want to go to a balls to the wall tone and then we're going to play the main riff of the song and that sounds something like this. To play that one, it's going to be a fifth fret on your uh, fourth string, and, uh, third fret on your top, fifth fret on your top. I'm going to kind of ride that fifth note. back and forth thing from five and six there. The third time you do this little run, there's gonna be a little extra semitone in there on the fourth fret. It's gonna sound like this. Three, four, five, super easy. There's several different transitions throughout the song and um, this first one you're gonna hear a couple times. It's uh, a, tremolo, a little tremolo thing. It's gonna start on six on your fourth string. to the chorus and uh, there's a little break, a little quick break. I have a special tone for that as well. It's kind of a reverbed out clean tone, a nice long, a long delay on it, lots of slap, and then uh, a little compressor. Not that it matters, but the way I do that part is kind of softly, like kind of a sh not really like all at the same time, but more of a... And boom. First off, a lot a lot of these uh, chords are on the up, so it'd be like uh, sound like this. slower. I like that chorus because it's not like a Here's a couple chords the same order every single time. It kind of changes itself when you get to the little bit of a different thing going on. There's a couple more transitions throughout the verses with the heavy riffs. Um, when the drums start to pick up, this is uh, what you're gonna hear. So. A bunch of semitones up, starting on three. Never go past six. second chorus. Um, I do this kind of ad-libbed lead. You do an octave chord on your fourth string and your second string. It's just gonna fade in. It's like... I switch super fast to my wah. I kind of manually use it as a phaser for this specific part. It's the same verse riff, only we're, we're making it more of like a chord almost. But... And then I do the slide in there. And then uh, the nasty squeal that I do. My favorite spot to start it is around the uh, fourth fret bar and uh, on your G and you're gonna give it a nice hard. And that's how you make that first sound. To do the higher one, there's two ways you can do that. It's either uh, right here on the left 
we're uh, closer down here on two. So the heavy part after the build up is going to be on three and five. It's going to sound like this. Move up five and six. Back. And we're going to go half step down to four. When it repeats, I add the uh, the two octaves to uh, what I'm already doing here with the bar on your third string. And be on your fifth fret. On your second string, be on your fourth. Uh, I'm sorry, your sixth fret. Okay. After that we have the solo. The effects I'm using for that are the wah, chorus, and delay. The way it begins is uh, with a class. Around 15, just a nice little bend. Leave your index finger uh, held down and just push up the 15 fret. After that we have a really fast run. To really break it down, what I'm doing is uh, on the fourth string, on 12th fret, I'm going to do three half steps. <laughs> on the next string, we're going to do kind of a, a couple hammer-ons that lead up. So. Together it sounds like this. The second half of it... Play it extra slow. After that, we're going to kind of ride out the 14th fret and then a quick little, and then I jump super fast to the 20th fret and do a uh, tremolo. And then we do the famous uh, high squeal there with, uh, I use the wah as a sort of boost to keep that sustain going. And I use the, uh, the higher note, which is around 11. It takes quite a bit of control to nail it perfectly because you gotta kinda, gotta press it down without losing Losing the vibration of the string, you know, because it needs a certain amount to keep going. And then uh, you got to pull up real, it, it takes quite a bit of finesse. So with all the effects, it sounds something like this. final chorus. It's sort of a different com uh, chord progression than the rest of the song. Not necessarily a key change, it's just, you know, the progression changes. And the way that goes is uh, you're gonna strum it sort of, I think of it more of a, a, jam uh, a jamming strum, and it uh, it's just gonna be, and it goes something like this. Finally go to that one. Name riff. That little ending right there is, uh, it's similar to the one in the beginning but we're gonna do something a little different. And that's how you play singing in the swamp.